In this video I will show you how to take apart the Dremel 8260. We will have a look inside it and I will show you how to assemble it again. There might be many reasons for having to get inside this tool, maybe you need to fix something or you're just curious like me. But before we start, doing this will probably void the warranty of the tool. Let's get started. First we need to take out the battery. Then we remove the metal hook at the back of the tool. Unscrew the nose cap and remove the collet nut and the collet. Inside the battery compartment there is a sticker with a QR code that we need to remove. There is also a metal piece that holds the two sides of the tool together. Take this out of the tool. Now that everything is removed from the tool we can start removing the screws. There are five screws that we need to remove. Four of them are obvious but the last one is hidden underneath the sticker with the product info. The screwdriver needed to remove these screws is a Torx size 9. When all the screws are taken out, we can carefully remove the cover with the product sticker facing up. At the front we have the spinning shaft, which also turns the fan when it is spinning. This is the shaft lock button that goes into this hole when you press it. For some reason Dremel has gone back to the shallow circular hole instead of the flat groove like you see on the Dremel 4000. This is the brushless motor that spins the shaft. When you turn on the tool, this little button is pressed down which allows the electricity to flow from the battery to the motor. Here we have the speed control. And the display screen on top is actually just a removable piece of plastic with some lights underneath. Here is how the tool looks like from the top. All of this electronic stuff is the motherboard or circuit board and wires and stuff. I don't really know electronics that well. You should probably not do this, but let's try to put the battery in. The lights work, but the motor does not turn on when disassembled like this. To assemble the tool again, we are going to do everything we just did in reverse. Start by putting the plastic display screen back where it was. Then we place the shaft lock button like you see here. Make sure that the small metal spring is still there. Now we can put on the cover. Just give it some pressure from the top as well and it should fall right back into place. Before I put back the screws I'm going to make sure that the tool works by holding the tool firmly, putting in the battery and turning it on. When I know that it works, I take out the battery, secure the metal pin and secure all the screws in their respective slots. The rest of the parts should be fairly self-explanatory. And that was it for this video, see you next time.